Hey everybody, Casey Kiefer here from Dropped and Rival Wild. You know, whitetail hunters. As bow hunters, we all dream of that time of year, the rut. We dream of rattling big deer in. We dream of laying down a scent drag and having a deer come in on a rope. We all have these big dreams of things happening in the field exactly as we plan them. But then comes the realization that we are bow hunters and that doesn't always happen. But I can tell you that if you don't arm yourself with the right tools, you'll never have it happen. So one of the things that I wanna talk about is what's my go-to setup for scents when I'm in the field during the rut. I have a couple of different things uh, that I wanna talk about. I use uh, scents in, in kind of a unique way. I'm not a guy that likes to go out there and just cover the woods with all different kinds of scent. I actually go kind of towards the opposite end of the spectrum where I like to use as little as possible in terms of uh, intrusion. So I like to change the natural state of the woods as little as possible. Um, but when I do use scents, I absolutely have kind of a go-to and a formula that I like to follow. So let's dive into that a little bit. One of the first products that I love to use is Tank's Power Scrape. This is a mock scrape uh, starter pack, basically. Uh, this actually you can use to freshen up old scrapes, you can use to start brand new scrapes, you can add it into scrapes that already exist. I like to use it in community scrapes. I like to use it in those scrapes, you know, the ones that you find that are on the edge of a field that are, you know, you could park a Jeep on top of. Those massive scrapes, those are community scrapes. Those are ones that a lot of deer, just about every deer in the area is gonna be coming to. They're gonna be checking it. They're gonna be freshing it up. Uh, they're gonna be doing their own thing. So I like to start there with something like a, uh, a power scrape product. And then from there, if I start to hone in on a particular deer and I can pattern him and I know where he's coming from, I might take it to a particular scrape line that he might be using or he might be starting or I'll start a fresh scrape in that direction to see if I can get him to start hitting that scrape so power scrape is obviously an awesome product I like to start this before the rut truly in the pre-rut phase so gearing up to get into the you know first couple weeks in November I like to use this starting end of October from there uh, oh also comes in the spray bottle super handy for sliding down in your pack pull it out give it a quick spray on your way from there really two uh attraction products that i like to use the old standard tank 69 we all know what 69 can do it's actually got doe estrus in it with a mixture of other things uh really piques a deer's curiosity uh so 69 is kind of a go-to but one that people don't talk about a lot is super lure uh i really do like to use the super lure this is a, a lure uh, that is basically uh, peak estrus from a doe that's been fed an extremely high protein diet. Uh, so it's really potent. It's going to be a really potent uh, estrus to put out in the field. So, uh, and again, you know, I go by that rule of the less disturbance to the natural environment, the better. So if I do d use this or I use a 69, I'm using it in small quantities. I'm only using it in small drops here and there. That's just my particular style of hunting. I know a lot of guys that will go out, use a full bottle at a time. Not saying that's right or wrong. That's totally up to you, however you want to use it. I'm just telling you how I like to do it. So um, I do like to keep all of my scent stuff completely separate from any of the applications or accessories that I might be using in the field. So what I've done basically is I go out and I bought a uh, just a cheap little kind of uh, tackle box. And this is what I keep everything for my scents in. So I've got, uh, I've got all of my replacement uh, scent wicks in here, if you will. Uh, I've got a stack of those. I've got all my rubber gloves in here. I've got tons of them because I use rubber gloves every single time I'm in the field putting out scents. I've got a lot of these little Ziploc bags that I can take, uh, you know, scent wicks or scent drags or something like that, put in and seal up after I'm done using them for the day. There's my scent drags right there. Keep those kind of self-contained in this little bag. Um, you know, all of my scent bombs. Keep all the scent bombs in here. Uh, in this little spot individually and then uh, you know of course the scrape bombs as well so I, this is something that I do just to help me stay organized but it also has every part of the process inside the box so that I know if I'm running late or I'm trying to get to a stand quickly something like that I can pop open my box grab out each little piece that I need throw up my pack and I'm on my way to the field helps keep it kind of contained and away from other scents and everything like that as well so like I said all of us as bow hunters, we dream of luring in a big deer with the rattling antlers or through a scent drag or maybe using a mock scrape, something along those lines. It's possible and it's doable. The only way to figure it out is to get out there and try. The products from Tinks are going to help you do that.